Traditional Micronesian oil lamps use a wick of cloth or coconut husk fiber in a bowl of coconut oil. The wick burns up very quickly. The flame is not very large or bright. If we substitute a wick made of glass fiber, the wick will not burn up. If we keep the flame away from the surface of the oil, the flame will be brighter. Glass fiber wick can be purchased from www.wickstore.com. It is made by the Pepperell Prating Company of Pepperell, Massachusetts 01463. Their telephone number is 1-800-343-8114. A 50-yard spool of 1-8-inch wick is item number 1284. The price of the spool is $20 not including shipment. You can make 1,800 wicks from one spool. Each wick costs about one cent. You can make an inexpensive, useful lamp from a 12-ounce aluminum can. A smaller aluminum can with a rounded bottom and a glass fiber wick. The large can will hold the oil and be the reflector for the lamp. Remove the full duff from the top of the can. The top of the lamps get very hot. If you try to pick up the lamp by the full duff, you will burn your fingers. The smoke from the flame will go out the top opening. You want the top opening to be away from the front of the lamp. Hold the can so the top opening is away from you. Cut the can from the top to one inch from the bottom. The bottom of the can will hold the oil. If you cut too far down, you will have to refill the lamp more often. If you don't cut far enough, the edge of the can will pluck the light when the oil gets low. Cut the can halfway around the right side to meet the top of the center cut. Cut the can halfway around the left side to meet the top of the center cut. Cut the can halfway around the left side to meet the bottom of the center cut. Cut the can halfway around the right side to meet the bottom of the center cut. The five cuts you have made should form two doors. Fold each door back to form a reflector. The bottom of the smaller can will float the wick on top of the oil. Use a small sharp knife to cut the bottom of the smaller can. Most can have numbers near the bottom. Cut across the top of these numbers. Make sure the cut is even all the way around. Throw away the top of the smaller can. The bottom of the smaller can is now the float for the lamp. Make a hole for the wick in the center of the float. If the hole is too large, the wick will fall out. If the hole is too small, the oil cannot come up. 
If you push the extra metal to one side as you make the hole, you can fold the metal into the wick to hold the wick in place. Make a wick about one inch long. Pinch the wick between your finger and thumb near where you want to cut it. Cut the wick very close to your finger and thumb. Without letting the wick unravel, put the wick through the hole in the float. The wick should stick out the top of the float between one quarter and one half inch. Fold the middle pack into the wick to hold the wick in place. Fill the bottom of the can with coconut oil. Carefully place the float on top of the oil. Wait a minute for the oil to come up the wick. When the wick is full of oil, light the wick. You can clean the wick, but you never need to trim the wick or throw it away. 